everybody so today I'm going to do a little tutorial for you and it's going to be on the basics of winged eyeliner so what you're going to do is start on the outer corner of your eye and we're going to basically do a stamping motion along the upper lash line so all I'm doing here is pressing down on the outer part of my eye and making a small line and normally when you first start when you first lay your hand down you end up with a thicker line than you maybe like that's why we're starting on the outside because the line is supposed to be thicker there anyways and then you just make your way inwards and each time you get a little better at it and your line comes out slimmer and slimmer and that works out perfectly because the inner eye is supposed to have the skinniest line so all I'm doing is pressing it down and dragging it a little pressing it down and dragging it a little and this is gonna leave kind of like a patchy line as you're gonna see um, once I complete this but that's okay because we're going to go over it and smooth it out and for this first portion you're gonna see that this is not necessarily the winged eyeliner this is simply um, lining the upper lash line so that's how it looks now. It's not um, smooth at all, but what you're going to do is you're going to start in the middle of your eyelid and you're going to make one line from the middle to the end. And be confident in yourself guys, otherwise your hands will shake. You can do this, so don't worry. And then you literally just do the same thing from the inner lash line to the center. And that will smooth out your whole line. So this is just how to do the simple um, eyeliner look. And now I'm going to just show you that you can do the same thing on the other hand. You can arrange your hand however you'd like. This is how I find it most comfortable to do. So again, just pressing on the edge, pulling it out a little bit, then moving in. And normally when I start the second eye, I don't dip back into the pot. I just use whatever is left on the brush itself because this is just the basic a line it's not done yet so even if I do make a mistake it's not super dark you're gonna say I'm gonna make a mistake here Ooh, maybe a little bit longer it's coming there you go see I accidentally stamped my eye and um, because there was little product there it'll be easier for me to wipe off later so that's what I'm going to take a second to do now, and I just want to take a moment to apologize for looking like a hot mess. I literally just came out of the shower because I was getting ready to go to work. Um, so that's how come my hair looks odd, and that's how come I'm in sweats. Also, my eyebrows haven't been touched in about six months at least, so please ignore the stray hairs, the very obvious stray hairs. But yeah, so you just wipe away any mistakes that you make as soon as you can, preferably with a Q-tip because um, otherwise later it's just going to be a hassle. Now you're going to double dip so that you can make that smooth line again. So just start in the middle, pull up to the end, and then start in the inner corner and pull up to the middle. Guys, practice really makes perfect, so don't get discouraged if it's not the way you'd like for it to be the first time. Just go really slow with it and be patient and it'll all work out and be confident because otherwise your hands will shake and that's like the worst thing when you're trying to do a smooth liner or a smooth line I should say so now we're going to the wing portion of the eyeliner you're gonna start at the bottom lash line and literally just stamp a line going at an upwards angle towards the outer portion of your eyebrow now my eyebrows are not defined but you do what you can with yours so I just stamped a little line and then you're just gonna drag a little and the reason why I hold my brush this way is so that the tip of the line becomes thin. Then you're just going to align your brush with the tip of the line and drag in one smooth swipe down to the rest of the line. And it's going to make the perfect outer like wing shape that you want. And then you just fill in the little gap that's between the two lines. So I'm going to show you that again on the other side. But that is how it looks. So again, you just make a little... A line in a stamping motion and then you just drag that line out a little bit to build the wing and simply align your brush with the tip of that line and drag inwards it gives a perfect curved shape now you're gonna notice that the eyeliner look that I'm doing with the wing is very very basic it's very small and it's not very dramatic now this is just for um, beginners and obviously you need to know the basics before you can really, you know, advance. So if you would like to make this more dramatic, you just simply stamp a longer line from your bottom lash line. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you. Hey guys. Oh my god. It's like seven hours post filming. I just came back from work and my eyes are like so irritated because of my contacts. That's why it's red. Please ignore. But I just wanted to show you how the eyeliner has held up so bear with me. 
on this uh, shaky laptop, but hopefully you guys get a decent view of how the eyeliner turned out. I think it did a pretty good job actually holding up over that many hours and that much work. Um, this is just the Annabelle liquid eyeliner. That's all it says on the tube. Um, I actually couldn't find the eyeliner ever since I filmed, but the cap of it is like a navy blue color and the body, the body? The little thing, the pot is black. Um, if you go back to my get ready with me videos, you'll probably find it there. And that is all. Uh, so I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I hope that the voiceover was bearable. And I hope that you come back next Saturday. So have a great night, y'all. Bye!